Big Brother Joe. All right, you guys. So, like, share, subscribe, ring that bell so you guys will be updated when I release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den basketball community. Salute to my brother A Weapons. He represents Midlife Music. Go to TicketTVMedia.com. The music, the merch, and don't y'all forget to follow me on Instagram. Ticket TV Media. Link to the Instagram is right there on the screen. Ticket TV Media, and follow me on Facebook. Facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. And let's get into it, man. So Ronnie James, man, uh, man, another horrible loss yesterday, man. Uh, he was demoted to the bench. Uh, only got 15 minutes of play. Only scored two points. ESPN tried to post it on their on their site, on the website, on the YouTube site, and it just backfired on Bronny, man. They tried to post, like, the highlights from the team, man. And, again, I'm going to stand on what I said before, bro. I'm not about – I'm not saying that you can't criticize Bronny, the basketball player. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that some people are personally taking their anger from LeBron James out on Bronny, and that's the part that I feel like is wrong because – Bronny wasn't complicit in that. Bronny didn't say, hey, yeah, man, my daddy do the talking, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to just come out here and hoop. My dad, I'm going to let my daddy do all the talking. He didn't say any of that. Bronny hasn't asked for any of this stuff. The man barely says anything. You know what I'm saying? And when he does talk, he's humble. Like, real talk. He ain't out here talking about, yeah, you know, I let my daddy talk all the smack. You know, he, he don't do that. I'm the king. I'm the goat. None of this stuff. None of this stuff. Bronny does none of that. And so... I don't understand. Well, I do understand, but it's terrible people out here in this world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that would criticize him and say all these other things when he didn't ask for these expectations. Now, his father put them expectations on him because he was running his mouth. And this is what Bronny's going to get when your daddy's out here talking crap and running his mouth and has so many people that dislikes him personally because of the stuff and foolishness that he do and say, right? But I just feel like that because of how Bronny carries himself, I feel like it's wrong for people to pile on him. We already know he's not ready right now. We know this. This ain't something that's a secret of him not being ready. This is something that we know for a fact that he's not ready. They're going to rush him. And I think right now, uh, three things are going to happen. Either Ronnie's going to get drafted, period. Doesn't matter what he does. He can score zero points. He's going to get drafted. Either that, either the coach gets fired as soon as this season is over with, the coach gets fired. Bronny goes back and they bring a different coach in. Or if Bronny doesn't go in the draft, LeBron James just transfers Bronny to a different school. Remember, LeBron James has done this to the kids in high school. He, he moved uh, Bryce to a different school and moved him back to a different school. So, again, they've already shown you that they're not finna play around. Now, my thing is, I, will likely, I think that likely you'll probably see the coach get fired from USC. You know what I'm saying? And they'll probably put in a LeBron James friendly coach, in my opinion. You know what I mean? But again, I haven't seen Bronny asking for none of this stuff. I haven't seen Bronny saying, "Yeah, you know, my daddy gonna do the talking for me." And I'm gonna, you know, he hasn't said any of that. You know what I'm saying? Bronny has just been on the humble, bro. And like I said, like to me, is he didn't call himself the chosen one. He didn't say I'm the goat. He didn't say I'm the king. He didn't ask to bring none of these expectations on him. He's just getting this because of his father bro and that's the problem i have because any other kid that's out here that's not playing well like ain't nobody gonna be sitting up here doing all the stuff they're doing to him i'm saying that people's piling on to him because of their hatred of his dad and that's the part i say is not right i'm not saying it's not right to criticize a performance on the court i'm just saying that people should look at the overall picture when they're approaching this situation you know what i'm saying that people are saying oh man it's a travesty if he get the nba well i told you guys i said bro the Nassis and Teddy Kumpo's in the league. So how much of it is a tragedy? Nobody really had the same energy for the Nassis. You know why? Because Giannis is a likable person. Nobody really dislikes Giannis except for the fake, you know, uh, except for the fake KD and LeBron fans who hate on Giannis because Giannis went a different path than those dudes did and was successful. You know what I'm saying? So that is the reason why. You know what I mean? And these are all facts that I'm spitting to y'all. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just cooking on what's real today. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, and people say, oh, Thanasis got drafted off his own merit. I heard my boy Two Raw say that totally disagree. I mean, not Two Raw. I heard my boy uh, 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 Kareem say that bull, bull jab. Bro, them teams knew what Giannis was going to turn out to be. My boy was on that team and said they, them teams knew what Giannis was going to be. That's why they drafted him, how they drafted him. They knew Giannis was going to turn out to be a beast. 
They drafted him. The Bucks drafted him where they drafted him for a reason, and they developed him. That's why they snatched him up. They knew what was up with Giannis. See what I'm saying? So uh, for you to say that, bro, and the people behind the scenes said Giannis was cooking. He was doing work back then when he was practicing. Like, he was he was getting busy. He didn't look like it. He just needed a couple years to develop. But they their scouting department seen that in Giannis, and this is the reason why the Knicks, who are smart, went and drafted Giannis' brother from the beginning. They already knew what they was going to do. They do this type of stuff to try to lure you in. It wasn't because they liked Thanasis. You think they drafted Thanasis because they liked him? It's nothing about his game that you can like. It's nothing about Thanasis' game that you can like. It's absolute defecation. And I'm just being honest with y'all. But back to the situation with Bronny James, my whole thing is this. This is all LeBron James' fault. So I'm thinking if people should be criticizing anybody, they should be criticizing LeBron James. Why are you guys slamming Bronny for not being something he never said he was? Bronny never said he was none of this stuff that his daddy's saying he is. He never said any of this stuff. Real talk. And so that's why I say, man, look, the kid never asked for this smoke. He never asked for the drama. He just wanted to play basketball. It ain't his fault he's LeBron James' son. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean that that gives you a right to disrespect him and cross lines and and really like troll the dude and be dishonorable because LeBron has the whole Right? This is why. This is why LeBron James can do all of this stuff. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. So y'all get mad. Y'all shouldn't get mad. Y'all should feel a different way uh, about Bronny. Y'all should say, hey, look, man, Bronny needs time to develop. Look, he's not as good as what they saying he is, and it is what it is. But people are putting extra sauce on it because of LeBron. I don't criticize the youth unless he unless he participating in this stuff. If Bronny was coming out here saying, yeah, I'm the GOAT, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Yeah, my daddy gonna talk for me, and I'm gonna come out here and bust that man. If he if he doing that, okay, now we I'm cooking him, cause now you doing all this talking and you ain't producing. But he wasn't doing that, dog. He not doing that, bro. I ain't. I'm not with that, bro. He ain't doing that, bro. He not doing that, bro. He just a kid, bro, trying to come up and play a game he loved to play. He might not be as good as his father. He might not be nowhere near his father. Point blank, period. Uh, you said you think that I'm way off if Bron calls shots for USC. Man, that's LeBron James, bro. Get out of here, man. You play for the Lakers, bro. Wake up, dog. Wake up, brother. You play for the Lakers, man. Be quiet, bro. LeBron James can move anything over there in Cali he want to move, bro. He play for the Los Angeles Lakers, man. Cut it out, man. All he got to do is send one phone call over there. That coach is fired. So cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Don't nobody want to hear that, man. That's why I told you the three things that's going to happen. I don't want to hear none of that stuff about, oh, well, there's that. I don't want to hear none of that, bro. We know what time it is. I told you guys, he controlled the media. He controlled all of this stuff, period. And y'all starting to see how it's true. Because ain't no media doing nobody like that. And they set that boy up for this type of failure. And I, you know what? I salute Bronny for being mentally tough because he don't let it get to him. You don't see him out here doing what KD doing and arguing back and forth with people and online and stuff like that. And, you know, the fans disrespecting him. He don't feed into it and none of that stuff, bro. He just do what he do. I got to respect young fella for that, bro. Because it's hard. It's got, it's got to be hard to go up through that, bro. A lot of y'all could not could not survive going through the stuff that Bronny going through right now. Real talk. You got to live up to the legacy of your father. Your daddy out here talking stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody disrespecting you. You can't go nowhere no more without people calling you a bum. People disrespecting you, calling you overrated and all this other stuff. And you ain't asked for none of this. You just wanted to play ball. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Straight up. And I'm just I'm just telling the truth to y'all. Being honest with all y'all, man. It's not right, bro. It's not right. Right is right and wrong is wrong, man. You ain't in no other school is you going up here criticizing some kid that's not playing well, that's not out here running his mouth asking for smoke. You know what I'm saying? I can understand if a dude's out here talking all this smack, he ain't balling and you cooking him three the hard way. That's different, bro. But cause because LeBron James is out here, people we people dislike LeBron James as a person a basketball player, and everything else, now what they will do is is that they will use that disdain and that hatred they have towards LeBron to take it out on his kids, bro. That's not right to me, bro. It's not right, bro. You should be able to separate the two. Like, 
look, I'm saying again, you can criticize his game and say, hey, man, look, I don't think he did. But remember, that was LeBron James who got ESPN and all these people on his son like that. That was LeBron James who was running his mouth saying his son could play on the Lakers roster. That wasn't Bronny. I never heard Bronny say that one time. I never heard Bronny say that one time. Not once. So I find that to be very, 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 like, you know what I'm saying, disrespectful to him because he ain't asking for that. You know what I'm saying? The man don't got benched now, bro. They talking about he a first-round pick. The coach don't bench the man. Again, the man was starting, now the coach benched him. So how they going to pull that off? I told you guys what's going to happen. If they force him to go back, if he goes back to USC and Bron doesn't want him to transfer, they're going to fire the coach and get a coach that, that wants to do what LeBron wants to do, which is let him shoot all of the shots. I'm telling you guys this. If Ronnie stays at USC, there's going to be a coach that comes in that let Bronny shoot every single time. Point blank period. Because that's what Brown wants him to do. I'm telling y'all what's going to happen.